T Pain. Did you see the comments he made about Tupac, yo? T Pain. Did I see the comment that was made by T Pain? Yeah, I seen it. You know what I mean? I was surprised because I think I seen T Pain say he somebody he had approached an artist and they kind of like shined him or you know treated him as less of an artist. Yeah, little flip. Huh? Little flip. Yeah, somebody had treated him less of an artist, so. You know, and, and I kind of, you know, I could say I liked little, I mean, I liked T-Pain up until I heard him say some of his comments. Like, um, you know what I mean? I, at first I thought he was trying to blame it on, well, you know, this is what the young people say that when you old, you know, that's when, you know, you wouldn't be any more good. But for T-Pain to let come out of his mouth that if Tupac was alive today, uh, you know, that would be much better rappers or better lyricists than him and he probably would have been killed sooner if he was around this time. Like, you know, some people just stupid. And they, uh, some people just make opinions. Like, I just think that was a stupid and an immature opinion. And that can go any way. Like, yeah, you know, Tupac is older and this is 20 years later, but we're still talking about Tupac songs that was recorded over 20 years later that we still listen to and the shit still sound fresh. That All Eyes On Me record sound like it was recorded 10 months ago. And the thing about it is, even people that sell records, like today, respect Tupac. So for a person like T-Pain that kind of snuck in there, I mean, what he is, the, the new Roger Trotman at that time? I mean, he's the artist to say that, you know, the shit that he was doing, that shit ain't gonna work today. You know, they checking for T-Pain just as well as they checking for Danny Boy. The fuck? So to open your mouth on a person like Pac to be like a better lyricist, I don't give a damn if these artists sell more records that's of today. It's not of a bigger movement than Tupac. Tupac is a worldwide name. It's a lot of artists that's trying to be known in these places. I could take you to places in the middle of countries that nobody know who T-Pain is. But it's a Tupac gang there. There's a Tupac class in a lot of colleges. That's, that's a curriculum. So a lot of these niggas can be famous and popular, but a lot of you niggas will never be a curriculum. So certain things you probably shouldn't open your mouth on. Disappointed. I thought he was a little more grown than that. Then the other clown in the background you know, steady saying, yeah, he'll be dead. Like, bro, y'all some grown ass men. This dead shit, death shit ain't no fake shit. And if it was Instagram and, and all of that social media type shit, maybe he wouldn't be dead. Everybody get their turn. But we cannot forget where this shit started at. We, forget, we cannot forget, you can't say, you know, uh, 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 a Tupac is better than an N. W.A. But fuck, it's not the same. N.W.A., they broke bricks with the shit that they did. For sure, everybody big and they selling 20 million records. If Pac was here today, he sold 20 million records without Instagram, without social media. Show me an artist that can do that. They get rid of all this Instagram shit, most of these artists is gone. Just my opinion. And I stand on it. I promise you, I don't sing. I ain't never sung a motherfucker T-Pain song. Ever. Corny ass nigga. Keep your name off pot. Give compliments and keep it moving. You a fake ass fucking Roger Trotman. Yeah, I mean, welcome back. Danny Boy back on the Art of Dialogue. This shit real. I already be making y'all mad. Niggas be mad at me because I be stating my truth. Be saying they want to work with me and I'm going to make it hard. I'm going to make this singing shit kick through the door. T-Pain, you feel any motherfucking way, goddamn. Let me sing your songs. We'll do a verses in the form or something like that. You can't sing. Get that corny ass shit up out of here. Fuck out of here, man.
Come on, Art. People don't understand, yo, and I want to make that clear. I mean, I don't think people understand, man. Vocally, you on point, man. Um, Thank you. So that's how you feel. Because I actually value your opinion when it comes to singers, man. So with T-Pain. Wow. No, he ain't it. Is T-Pain a singer or a rapper? What is he? I'm, I'm not trying to be real. Like, there's people in the room, cameraman. What is T-Pain? A singer? Who Like, okay, who the fuck he martyr at, though? I sing like I sing like Stevie Wonder and Stokely of Mick Edition. Who you sing like? A fucking computer. A app. A app that we don't use no more. Nah, he can't sing to me. No. No, 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 no. ABC ass nigga. And for the people, because you already know people going to be in the comments trolling, give them a sample of how you get busy, yo, vocally, if you don't mind. For all we, we know, we may never meet again, but before you go. Stop before they sample that shit. <laughs> <laughs> so there y'all go, man. For all the people in the comments, before y'all even leave y'all little comments trolling and shit, there y'all go, man. I oh, mean, wow. Danny Thank Boy, you. vocally, <laughs> be on point. Thank you, man. I'll be talking a lot of shit, but I enjoy this singing shit. I'm humbled by it. It's a gift. And I don't take it for granted. I respect all artists. But when, when people start talking, it's not that at the side of their neck, especially about pop. Like it's a problem, bro. You don't have no, you don't have no past to mention Pop. Boy, all you can do is look up to him and salute him as a legend. Stay in your place. The fuck is who the fuck is you? He he's sitting on there talking and laughing and shit. Ha! Ah, Pop, boy, you better shut up for it. Be hard for you to get out one of these studios. The fuck? You ain't no gangster rapper. You ain't no gangster singer. Stay in your place, nigga. Can I get to you? And I, and I, ain't you a dancing ass, nigga? Stay in that shit. That's niggas' problem. They get in lanes they shouldn't be in. Start opening their mouth on shit they shouldn't just to get fucking hits and to get people to hit social media and to get likes, bro. This shit real. And then to bring up some gangster shit like, oh, he'll be dead in this day, nigga. You, you ain't one of them niggas that'll be dead because none of your son stands a real gangster substance. The fuck a stripper gonna kill you? Shut your mouth up, bro. Shut up. Talking about pop. Shut the fuck up. 